Bear McDonald. He's the owner of Barbecue Bear Smokehouse in Windsor, and you may recognize him. He's also a competitive eater, and he's been in the annual hot dog eating contest. He's going to be so at the uh, the contest in New York City this year. And so you have brought a big piece of meat. We're going to be making some barbecue. And I have to say, I wish I had an apron. I'm wearing the worst color to do anything <laughs> on barbecue. So we're going to try not to get it all over me. But let's get started because this is looks like it's all set. It's all prepped. Yes, and then is. what do you do from this point? Okay, so. This is um, perfect for 4th of July. Yes, it right? is. Yes, it is. It's for a 4th of July picnic or really kind of every day. It's really easy to do. Uh, this is how we prepare them down at, uh, at the smokehouse. Uh, so we'll start with the rub. This is kind of a classic Kansas City rub. You have brown sugar, paprika, garlic, pepper, salt, um, chili powder, cayenne pepper, and a little bit of onion powder. All right, um, so should I just dump it all in here? Yeah, you can just dump them all in. Do we have a... There you go, I'll help you with that Oh, okay. <laughs> brown sugar sticks. It does. <laughs> all right. And all the ingredients and the amounts are gonna be on our website. Correct. No, all of the salt? Yeah, yeah, all, all of it. All right, dumping it all in. And now this is probably enough to do, I would say four to five racks of ribs. And then I have my gloves on, but what you do is you just, I like to mix Smush it by it hand. Okay. That way it breaks up, especially because brown sugar gets a little clumpy. Right. And it makes sure to break it down so you don't have huge clumps in it. Mm -hmm. Now talking about the meat, what, if you're gonna go to the butcher, what are you asking for? So what I prefer myself is ba our baby back ribs. Mm -hmm. Um, you could do baby back ribs, you could do beef ribs, which the rub would be a little bit different. This is more of a pork rub, but mm -hmm. you could do baby back or you could do spare ribs. I like baby backs because it's a leaner, leaner cut. They're a little bit harder to cook. You have to pay attention to them because they are leaner. Um, but you just apply the rub, so it's all mixed up now, all the different ingredients. And to apply it, you just kind of sprinkle it on fairly thickly. Now, as you're doing that, I have to ask about your competitive eating. Oh, yes, yes. You, you, you <laughs> eat competitively all kinds of things. Yes, I have names. Hot dogs, pies. What is the hardest? The hardest thing, surprisingly, was pickles. I did a pickle eating contest a couple months ago in Boston, and it was by far, you'd think, I mean, I've done onion rings, I've done fried mushrooms, I've done well, what fried kind of pies. Were they, Jill? they were kosher, kosher dill pickers, so they're very hard and very, very salty. And I did, uh, yeah. I want to say, five pounds in, I want to four minutes. Yeah, so oh my goodness. It was, uh, it was rough. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> and, you know, you see people, when they're competing in the hot dog eating contest, they drink the liquid or the water. Or yeah, yeah. I can't imagine that helps when you're trying to down pickles. No, nothing helps with pickles. Um, <laughs> but like next week, I'll be. Except two gallons of water after you're done. Cause right, it's so exactly. Salty. Just because you're, you're, you have all that sodium right. water retention. But uh, next week, I'll be at, uh, I have three contests next week. I have one on the third. It's a hamburger eating contest down in, New, uh, down in Washington, D.C. Uh, the next day on the 4th, I'll be in New York City uh, eating hot dogs with Kobayashi. And on the 5th, uh, another hot dog contest down in New, uh, North Carolina. Now, you do hold a record for the pie eating contest? Yeah, I have, right now I have about uh, 13, or 13 or 14 world records. Uh, but I, have, uh, I just set the, the world pie, uh, apple pie eating record. It was 9 pounds and 6 minutes of apple wow. pie. So, it was a lot. Uh, and we will, uh, down at, the smoke, at, at my smokehouse, we will have challenges. I have to bring that into, I can't have a restaurant well, be a competitive eater right. and not have challenges. So. All right, so we've got the rub on there. Rosa. Yeah, so the rub's all applied. The top side? Yeah, well, I, I would do both sides, mm -hmm. but it's just uh, a nice even coat over it. On ribs, any of the pork products you want, I like to do a little bit heavier. And like I said, there was a fair amount of sugar in it. And what that does when you cook it, it gives it a nice glaze and helps it retain some of the moisture. But after you get done smoking it, or at home, you can do this on your grill. And so you want to set your grill to about 250 degrees um, and in indirect heat and just let it cook for, there's really no temperature that you can get these to. Most meats you would do a temperature, but mm -hmm. I just call it kind of the, the floppy test. So you pick the, the rack of ribs up and when they're raw, they're fairly stiff. Um, and when they're done, they just kind of droop over. It looks almost like a, a meat rainbow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks delicious. That's what it looks like. All right, so for more information for folks to you know, find out exactly what you have on your menu, all this great stuff, people can go to your website. It's 
Bears Barbecue. Yeah, BBQ. Com. Yep. BBQ. And do you also have the information on where you're going to be competing there? Because yeah, I know yeah, people want that, to know. That'll all be on there. I, I try to link all that together. So I have my schedule. We have any events that, as a restaurant, I do uh, various events in the community or some of the festivals that I'll be at uh, serving food. Um, but then, yeah, of course, all my eating stuff, too. All right. Fine to have you. Thanks so much to be with us. It's a Thank pleasure you. to meet you. And Thank you. Thank with you. With all that you've done, all that you've eaten, and we'll be following your progress, of course, throughout the summer. Thank you. Thanks, Bear.